What's up, FR Nation? Today is our first continuation video. In part one, we talked about why you need a muck boot or a dry shod boot. And in part two, we're gonna talk about which boot is right for you. So are you ready? Okay, gang, before we get started, I'd like to ask you to hit that subscribe button below. Join the FR Nation so you're up to date on all the latest videos about safety products, safety gear, to help keep you safe and comfortable out in the field. And all these products that we're gonna talk about today are gonna to be in the links below in the description. So make sure and check that out. Check out our website as well. All right, let's get to muck boots. Which muck boot is gonna be right for you? Now, muck boots are built all around comfort, temperature comfort. So they're built for hot, hot temperatures all the way down to sub-freezing, really cold temperatures. So we're gonna start out with the Chore Cool. This has got a four millimeter neoprene booty built in, and it's gonna keep your foot dry and cool in temperatures ranging from 40 to 95 degrees. So it's a great summer boot. Now we're gonna move on to the Chore Boot. The Chore Boot is their stock boot. This is the boot that is a year round boot. I was out in the oil field for four, four plus years. I used this Chore, this was my go-to. It kept my foot warm in the winter, and not too hot in the summer. The comfort rating for this boot is between sub-freezing to 60 degrees. It's got five millimeters of neoprene uh, built into it. If your feet get too cold on those winter days, we move to the next boot. Okay, now we're gonna move to the Arctic Sport. We're getting to colder weather. This boot is built a little more aggressive in the tread for the snow. It's got five millimeters neoprene booty built in with a fleece lining, which is nice and comfortable, keeps you warm. And it's also got two millimeters of a thermal foam under the foot. So it's gonna insulate you from the ground a little better. This comfort range is from 40 degrees all the way down to negative 40. You're gonna wear this on those cold winter days. If you're standing around a lot, this is a great boot to be in to keep your feet warm and dry. Okay, now we're gonna move on to the extreme colds. So, this is the Arctic Sport. The comfort range for this is from 40 degrees all the way down to negative 60. How do they keep your foot warm in negative 60 degree temperature? Well, they have an eight millimeter neoprene booty built in, plus the fleece lining, plus they have two millimeters of that thermal foam underneath the foot to keep you warm. So this boot is good from like I said, 40 to negative 60. It is a warm boot, so you only want to wear this when it is freezing cold, because if you're wearing it when it's nice out, 30 plus, 40 degrees, you're going to be sweating a bunch in this thing. Those are your four main styles of muck boot. Now they have some offshoots of each one. They actually just came out with a Chore Max. The Chore Max has a composite toe where these all have steel toe. It also has a little bit different lining to help you breathe better. And other than that, it's about the same boot. You can also get a gusseted muck boot. This is a dry shot that gives you a little more flexibility here if you have a bigger calf. And you could also cinch it up, say if you're wanting to keep debris out from your foot. So this is a great option as well. And if you're getting too hot, you unloose this strap and you let some, some air get down through there. So that's a great option. And then we also have like a dry shod that is higher rubber. So this rubber will protect you a little better. It's gonna be a, a little better for abrasion. And if you're in a lot of chemicals or some nasty stuff, you might wanna go with an all rubber boot instead of the neoprene tops like some of these others. Now a big pro tip here is your socks. Your foot is gonna get warm and you might feel like there's a leak in your boot, but it could just be because your foot's sweating so much. So you need to get yourself into a good pair of wool socks. It's gonna pull that moisture away from your body and then dry it out as it moves out of the material. Wool is a, is a great fabric to keep you warm even when you're wet. So that's a rundown of your muck boots. Hopefully this helps you pick out which one would work best for you. Uh, if you wanna do an extreme heat one and then an extreme cold one. You could do two boots or you could just go something right down the middle if you uh, want to just have one boot in your arsenal. Okay guys, thanks for watching the end. Just a reminder, please hit that subscribe button below. Join our YouTube channel. 
join the FR Nation. Uh, we'd like to send a shout out to one of our viewers uh, at Mountain Ranch. Uh, thank you for all your feedback. We've been going back and forth about muck boot strategies, and he likes to wear his muck boots with his jeans over the top. And he said it'd be cool if I did a video with my jeans over the top of the muck boots. So Mountain Ranch, here you go. They're right over. All right, have a great day, guys. Thanks. Bye.